Warning to all parents, this video is not made for kids. There is adult language in it not suitable for kids. So after warning all parents that this video is not made for kids, we can begin. So, after going to my local Target, this was the last G.I. Joe uh, classified series figure left. Um, I was really hoping to find at least the basic figures that are $19.99, $20. But, uh, well, since this one is the last one that the store had, I figured what the hell I'll buy it because I don't even know if my store will get any more. <laughs> so, especially the Baroness. I mean, really? Do you even have to ask that, you know, do you like the Baroness? Hell yes, I do. <laughs> so, for the most part, this is the box. Uh, this is the second video I make because the first video took way too much time when I was taking the... What is it? The guns and the knife and the helmet, the figure and the motorcycle out of those plastic or out of that plastic uh, thing there. It was making a lot of crackling noises and just took a lot of time. So basically, we already have everything out and we're just going to look at the box real quick. And we have um, these other figures to show comparison time <laughs> uh, just to show how they look like compared to other figures and all that so here's the box very very cool I like how they copied I guess you could say like a he-man where it's matte in the black in the background and then the actual drawing is a shiny it has like a shiny coat to it very cool look at that artwork damn that looks great <laughs> that looks really good okay so a special mission cobra island Okay, now on this side, nothing really special. Okay, and on this side, you can see more of the drawing here. Okay. Now let's look at the back here. So there is Cobra Island right there. And the key spots that they zoom in on is that right there. This one there. And that one there. And then on the bottom, nothing. Then on the top, you just saw. So we're gonna put this back there, okay? Now let's look at the actual figure itself. Now I will say, they went the extra mile, which I'm very happy with, that they actually made the tires rubber. They didn't go all cheap out and just make it solid plastic. So this is a nice touch that they made it actual rubber. So that's cool. Another thing is, you can see here, where I turn it, and she turns as well. That's another nice touch. Um, it's not the first time that toys did that, but it's a nice touch that they did it with this one. Again, they didn't cheap out and just put the, the handles there and it doesn't move or anything. So that's a nice touch, very cool. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is, as you see here, she's grabbing on that handle, she's grabbing on this handle. Her foot is on that peg there, and the other foot is on that peg there. So this is an all-around perfect fit. 
It's not like other G.I. Joe toys that come with motorcycles, but you can get only one hand to grab on the handle, maybe one foot, and then the other side is completely coming off, basically. <laughs> so this is a perfect fit for this motorcycle. The other thing I wanted to mention is that, you see this? Um, now, yes, she can uh, crouch even lower and put her foot, her feet over here, but it's, it's, uh, it's nicer if you have Destro and then have the Baroness behind Destro and have her feet on here, which is very cool. A nice touch that they added there. And you can see there is a seat up there. So the, um, what is it? Destro can sit here and the Baroness can sit up there like this or right behind Destro basically. So again, there's the other peg there. Well, not really peg, but a foot, um, a foot step, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but there you go. <clears throat> so overall, there's your guns attached to the motorcycle. Very nice. Me personally, I don't like a uh, motorcycle. Um, Vehicles, I guess. I don't know. They're okay, but me personally, I rather pose the figure alone, standing alone or even in front of the motorcycle or something like that, but there you go. Anyway, let's take the Baroness off. And, um, you know what? Yeah. Let's put this right here. Let me take her off of the, mo the motorcycle. So, yeah, this, uh, this figure with the motorcycle and all that was $39.99, which was a little too expensive for me, but again, it was the Baroness, <laughs> and I just had to buy it, so hell yeah. So, let's get her nice and, like, her stance. Okay, so that helmet looks freaking badass. I mean, shit, that is badass. The helmet is a snake's head, and from where you can see the shining light, right there is the snake's fang, the teeth. So that reminds me of the Ninja Turtles Red Dragon Chopper Ninja, or Foot Soldier. Okay, so, now that we looked at the helmet, let's pull off the helmet and look at her head. So, it's very easy, just like any other modern day figures. You can pop it off, just like this, so you can see that. Okay, so you get movement uh, right at the base of the neck, and then of course you have your ball joint there and as you can see right here just so you can see that it does go you know she can look up and down so that's very cool I just wanted to show you that before I put the head on and then you know I can't really show you that well so now that we have her head on let's look in detail at her face If it will focus, there you go. So yeah, this is an outstanding sculpt. Outstanding. 
Look at her lips. They shine. I mean, just like real lipstick. That's freaking badass, man. So her hair is a soft uh, rubber type uh, material. <clears throat> her glasses almost look like Catwoman. <laughs> but there you go. The cobra symbol. Again, is freaking kick ass. And then on her belt as well. As you can see right away, you get upper chest movement. You get lower, or I guess your waist movement. You get your shoulders, your elbows, and your wrists, your upper legs, your thighs. You have double knee joints there. And then you have your ankle movement there. So she has a lot of movement. She looks incredible. And the detail is just phenomenal. Outstanding figure. I can understand why people are going crazy on eBay uh, trying to buy this particular figure. I've seen it. Uh, I was actually shocked because, again, I bought this one for um, thirty nine ninety nine, so forty dollars, and then um, I go and look on eBay just to see how much you know they are actually selling for, and uh, yeah, I mean a hundred and twenty dollars is the ballpark, and then people trying to milk you know, milk it out, um, $300. Are you kidding me? $300 for the Baroness and the motorcycle. That's it. For the, basically for this right here, the box. 300 bucks. Holy crap. Are you freaking kidding me? Now, there is one thing that I did not show you, which is this right here, which we will check that out right now. So here is the cobra laser or the cobra gun or whatever you guys want to call it look at that detail man that is beautiful that is truly kick ass okay so this is supposed to wrap around her arm and she's supposed to grab this part right here and then you have your gun and the snakes and the cobra's mouth right there. So again, just amazing. Let me put that on right now, or at least try to, because I never did it before, so let's see. So I think it goes something like this, and then she is supposed to grab onto it. So, There we go, we got it. Okay, so let's look at this. I mean, look at that, holy shit, is that freaking badass or what? Again, one of the best Baroness toys, action figures ever made. In my opinion, of course. But, I mean, seriously, damn. That looks good. So, yeah. I mean, damn, that looks so good. Just a while. Okay, so let's pull out her gold guns and then uh, her knife, which I think looks like a cookery. So there's the knife. Then here's her one of her guns and then the other gun. I don't know if these are 9, 40, or 45 cal, but uh, 
we'll see. I'm pretty sure somebody will say, oh, this is a so, like a so-and-so or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's put in the snake. Under the tile. Tile? Under the tire. And it, it'll say, don't tread on me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So, here is the actual snake handle. The pummel. Look at the detail. I mean, seriously. That is freaking amazing right there. So again, to me it looks like a cookery. Just a little bit more straighter, but overall that's the way it looks like to me. And here's the guns. Okay, so let's get her to hold the guns and have the knife in her, in the sheath, in the scabbard. And we're going to compare her with the other figures that I have standing in the next, like right next to the box. So that this way you can see uh, how tall she is compared to the other guys, the other figures. And, uh, yeah, I mean, she's going to display amazing, <laughs> just freaking badass. Okay, so let's get her, like, eh, something like this. Okay, so there she is. Now let's get um, a Ninja Turtle. Let's get Raphael. So that is a good comparison because, again, Raphael should be shorter than um, the humans. At least in the cartoons, they were. So even in the movie, the 1990s movie, they were shorter. Okay, let's get in the cartoon foot soldier. Freaking badass. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Okay. Let's get uh, the movie star, Foot Soldiers. Which actually look freaking badass next to her. Like her bodyguards. <laughs> that looks awesome, guys. What do you think? Maybe not bodyguards, but you know. That's awesome right there. Very, very cool. I love that. Okay. And let's do... Um, let's put in Fox Mulder from... Uh, what is it? Um, McFarlane Toys. He's a little shorter, but it's all good. No big deal. And yes, he is holding a proton pack. <laughs> Because I think it's awesome to have him holding that. That's awesome. Okay, let's get the Sith Trooper right there. Also, six inch figure. The Black Series Star Wars. That looks freaking awesome right there. No shit, it does. It looks freaking badass. <clears throat> okay, let's get the DC figures uh, Katana. Also awesome. And let's get in Harley Quinn. Two very bad girls. <laughs> yep. Why is Harley taller than the Baroness? Well, do you see how freaking high those boots are <laughs> okay <clears throat> and then let's put in a NECA alien right there
That looks freaking killer right there. And let's put in the NECA Predator. And again, uh, nicely real detail as in, again, the figures, the humans are not as tall as the predator. They're supposed to be a little bit shorter. So this is perfect right there. That's what you want to see. And then again, let's put in Raphael. <laughs> so that looks freaking badass, guys. No shit. Okay, so let's put in the foot soldier. Let's put in the other foot soldier. Let's just put them all together this way so you can see every, everybody together. Okay, and then the guys on this side. And then we'll end the video. But yeah, this is freaking kick-ass. This is killer freaking awesome. Um, if you love G.I. Joe or just, you know, like to have uh, figures from the 80s, I mean, look at that shit. Damn, does that look good or what? Holy crap. Okay, let's move the box out of the way. This way you can get a little bit more detail. There you go. It looks a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Damn, guys, that is freaking killer. That looks badass. Alright, guys, nice talking to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everybody is healthy out there. And if you're not, I hope that you do get better soon. And um, see you guys in the next video.